Hey, what's going on guys? Elio Chang here, and if you didn't already know, I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead, and I'm actually not that big of a zombie fan as a lot of my other friends are. I'm just a fan of any movie or any show where they show there was an apocalypse, and you watch how human beings really behave when civilization falls apart. I've watched all seasons of The Walking Dead, and there's a lot of major mistakes they make that drive me insane. So for my Changsters out there, if you ever find yourself in an apocalypse, I put together a list of very realistic survival tips that you need to follow. The number one thing, which is very obvious is that you need to find a gun. Everything else doesn't matter because whatever else you accumulate, someone with a gun will come by and take it from you if you don't have a gun yourself. Right after that, you need to grab yourself a pot and something that starts fire, whether it's matches or a lighter or whatever. You're not supposed to be drinking water from a lake or a river without boiling it first. You just build a water filter in about two minutes, huh? Eugene taught me. It takes a while, but it'll be clear, and then we can boil it. Boil it! Now, if you find yourself in a band of survivors, you cannot accept children or animals into the group, right? Dogs make noise that you can't control. Every movie or every TV series I've ever seen where there's a zombie apocalypse, someone dies trying to save a child who did something stupid they weren't supposed to do. Tim? Leave him. Come on, Sam. 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 Leave him. Hey, you can do this. I need you to come with me, Sam. Sam. Leave him. Jesse. Kids are gonna be dumber, useless, have less skills, and slow you down. It's a mouth to feed that contributes nothing to the group. I'm really sorry to say this, the only way you do not leave that family behind is if one of the parents provides a service that is irreplaceable, like they're a doctor or a helicopter pilot. After the kids and the pets are gone, any adult in the group who is lazy, does not contribute, or is combative needs to go. You don't like how your laundry's done? You are welcome to pitch in and do it yourself. Here. Oh! Ain't my job, Missy. Andrea, don't. What is your job, Ed? Sitting on your ass smoking cigarettes? Well, it sure sounds like listening to some uppity smart mouth bitch. Tell you what. Kill him. Come on. Let's go. I don't think she needs to go anywhere with you, Ed. And I say it's none of your business. I don't think I won't knock you on your ass. Kill him. Just because you're him. some college educated coos. All right? <gasps> now you come on now, or you're going to regret it later. I tell you what! Wait. Kill him. Any kind of dissent means trouble. Over time, that person will become a problem. You would think a rational human being would recognize that we need to work together as a unit. If you can, grab some condoms. Condoms. You got a girlfriend I don't know about? I mean, no. Then you're a pretty confident guy. No, 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 I, I, I wasn't, I would never... Something wrong with me? Bone her. No, I, 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 it would, I would never have sex. I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm... I'll have sex with you. Bone her. Really? It's not like our options are vast these days. Bone her. Just in case, because if you get someone pregnant... Babies are absolutely unreliable and will make noise and do not help at all. Look, you're behind one of these two doors and we have more than enough firepower to take down both. Can't imagine that's what you all want. <laughs> and of course, the number one rule of any zombie apocalypse, when you see trouble, run. Okay, stop trying to be brave, stop trying to be tough. If you see zombies from a block away, run. There's no reason to stay and fight, not even to rescue someone. If you see there's like one person surrounded by a hundred and you know you can't beat that hundred, then you run. And here is a very important survival tip that no one follows in every single zombie movie or show I've ever seen. Be sure. The body is dead. Okay, so now when it comes to cutting weapons, on The Walking Dead, I do not know why people insist 
on using small hand knives. It drives me crazy when I see survivors walk up to a zombie and grab them on the throat and then get them in the head where I'm like, what if you miss? And then you're putting your hand right near their mouth. You need to find a machete or an ax, or what I think is the best possible weapon, a samurai sword. When you have a samurai sword or a machete, it gives you more distance. I understand a samurai sword might be harder to find, but an axe or a machete should be easier to find in the apocalypse in a hardware store or like a Walmart after you found a really good cutting weapon. I do think a bow and arrow is a very smart weapon. Okay, whether it's a compound bow and arrow or a crossbow. Shut up. You can reuse the arrows over and over again. And of course an arrow is better because it's silent. Unless it's an absolute emergency, you should only shoot arrows when you know you'll be able to get the arrow back right away. You only fire a handgun or machine gun when it's absolutely necessary to keep zombies at bay. But when there's like five zombies, why are they shooting the gun? If there's five zombies, you can just take them out with your cutting weapon. Waste of bullets. You should only fire a weapon if you got surprised by a horde of zombies. And also, every now and then I've seen a scene where they're shooting a herd of zombies. When you see that there's 300 zombies, you know you can't get them all. So why are you even wasting five or six bullets? Just run away, because that's what you're gonna end up doing anyway. And the main reason you shouldn't waste bullets on zombies unless you absolutely need to, is because you really need to save those bullets for the real threat those bullets are meant for, humans. So now here is my biggest pet peeve with The Walking Dead. I've been watching every season and it drives me crazy in every episode. Why isn't everyone wearing sneakers? With all the walking they have to do and the running they have to do, people are wearing boots that it doesn't make any sense. Like when you walk a certain amount, like if you walk miles upon miles, boots are incredibly uncomfortable. Are you telling me with all the walking they've done, they haven't come across bodies that are wearing sneakers? If you keep wearing boots, at some point your ankles are going to give out and then you'll be limping around and instantly you'll be eaten by zombies. Anyway guys, I am just as excited as everyone else to watch the premiere of Walking Dead Season 7 until the apocalypse. Love each other, love yourselves, and I'll see you soon.